Of Loot Crate here on Boxing on Pastiche of Skin. Today we're looking at Loot Gaming. This is the Loot Gaming Crate for the month of August, which sadly, of course, has been kind of like pushed and pushed and pushed now because I've had a very, very busy couple of weeks. So we're playing catch up. Let's get onto this as fast as we humanly can and get this shared with you guys. Open it up and here it goes. Oh, so much future. Look at the future. That's pretty nice. Look at this. And we're going to the wide! How's it going, guys? It's nice to see you. Welcome back to another episode of Loot Crate Unboxing here in Past Teacher Skin. Today, we're looking at the August Crate for Loot Gaming. And, oh, yes, this is pretty nice. Destiny! It is my destiny. Yes, the t shirt is actually Destiny branded. This, I even though I'm looking at this design, it reminds me, it makes me think of a bungee design. Whenever I opened the Halo Legendary Crate, it felt like all the stuff was that three. It was the way three four three imagines Halo. This is the way Bungie do their kind of like promotional stuff. Nice and vivid, bright, uh, color coded kind of stuff. This works for me. I really like that. Uh, we have, of course have our three types. So you have the Hunter, Titan, and Warlock, all sitting on the one shirt. Quality and material. It feels nice and soft, but it's also. Um, well stitched and uh, the edges are done pretty well. It feels like a bit of a kind of a, a summer weight shirt even though we're kind of hitting into the autumn month. But because it's black, it's generally going to be okay. And you, you, you give me a black t-shirt and we're all good. We're all good. We're normally good with just black t-shirts. I mean, I'll wear grey. It's absolutely fine. I'll wear any colour. It's absolutely fine. I'm just saying black t-shirts will always win my heart because I... <laughs> the only problem is I can never tell which one it is I'm reaching for whenever I put them on because they're just all the same in the cabinet. Damn those metal t-shirts in my childhood. So what are we going to go for next? We'll go for some Adam Jensen. Check him out. Look at that. My augmented motherfucker. Look at the map. Oh, what's this? Scan the triangle to unlock bonus content. Okay. Well, I don't have man, uh, Deus Ex Mankind divided, so that one's going up to you guys. You can actually enjoy that if you want. There you go. See? There's a wee code for you. Right there. Scan that. You need to turn around. That should be fine. So yeah, these figures look like uh, designed the same way as the Tomb Raider figure for the 20th anniversary was. I gave that figure shit because its balance was off and I didn't really like the detailing on the figure and the box was trash. It was uh, almost unbranded. Uh, it was like just cheap white plastic or white, white cardboard. It made me feel like this one's probably an improvement. They, this one was prepped well on ahead of time. And um, the bobblehead looks cute. I, I, I don't mind the design, but um, yeah, I, I, I think we're all past the point of chibi big heads now. We we can move on without them. We don't need all of our figures to actually look like uh, little moe or chibi characters in some way, shape, or form. It's, it's, it's one of those things that's happening. They like, get all the characters in Japan. The SD forms are always kind of really popular, so. I can see that reason why we're finally getting around to mimicking that over here. So of course we've got another thing here from Gearbox. Uh, what was Claptrap? That was what his name was. Claptrap, uh, of course branded on the front of the box of this. But uh, is, this, is it actually the Claptrap on the inside? What is this? Um, okay. So obviously a metal thing of some sort, so I'm trying to find out what it is here. Uh, open you up. Slide you out. Unfold the paper. This is this actually feels like it's a memorable thing, so let's take it out and look at it immediately. What is this? Oh! Holy shit! It's a metal claptrap fridge magnet! Nice! Fridge magnet and ball owner! Man! Claptrap has become utilitarian! Fair play to him! Although these arms feel like they probably bend and break over time, but that's useful. Oh yeah! I get on board with that! The only thing is, I'm trying to find anything metal in here that doesn't require, that wouldn't actually mess up a screen if I put a magnet right next to it. But yeah, bottle openers. I, I, whenever they do their kind of surveys and ask, do we want something that's a little bit more utilitarian or functional? This is exactly the kind of thing I imagine. It's, it's artisanal, it's nice, but it also has a functional use in the home so that you don't have it sitting on a shelf or in a cupboard without being interacted with forever and financially sold because nobody wants to hold on to memorabilia from a old franchise at some point. So let's see what else we got in here. We'll go underneath because we're going to get to that baseball cap soon enough. Oh, okay. Another thing from 2K. This is Bioshock. It's a Bioshock iron-on patch, I imagine. Would be iron-on or stitch-in patch. Uh, place patch in the desired position. Place a cloth over top. Press the iron down for 20 seconds. Increase temperature to 375 degrees. Turn the garment inside out. So this is actually for putting a patch on clothing with uh, a big daddy. 
that's actually pretty cool. I mean, I don't do that kind of textile work stuff, but I know people who do, so uh, I can see what appreciation is. And the stitching on it looks really, really nice. It looks very, very dense. I mean, like, it looks like a good solid copper color they've actually got into that. So, yeah, fair play to them. Um, not, not exactly the big item gift. Uh, it's, I imagine that's probably attributed a dollar, like, seven or eight. But, um, yeah, this... Uh, it, it's it's alright. So, we've got a Lawbreakers themed baseball cap. Now, the biggest problem with baseball caps is that they never, ever fit my head properly. We have discussed this on a number of occasions previously. But you can see it's got the Lawbreakers logo on the front, and it actually has a Lawbreakers branding name on the back. And it's uh, like every other baseball cap I've ever worn. Sits really awkwardly on the top of my head. And it feels like I'm crushing my brain to actually kind of get it to pull down over my ears. Which is, or down, not over, but you know, like, so that it meets my ears in some way, shape, or form. The last thing we have, of course, is our Loot Crate pin, which is a uh, Man and Machine Augmented. That's a uh, related to Deus Ex. Now, having the theme of Mecha for this month's crate, and having the problem that they had with the Loot Crate DX for this month, um, not even for this month, for the last month wouldn't have been the futuristic Loot Crate DX, having Mecha themed stuff inside it. I don't know if they've kind of got their wired cross or their timing cross, but uh, I think they may have feeled themselves a little bit there. Let's see here, what's got inside this? I mean, Loot Gaming themed, uh, Cliff Blazinski chatting about Lawbreaker, Borderlands Claptrap bottle opener. Funny flag, pop trap moments, transhumanism discussed, man, Deus Ex, Mankind Divided, Adam Jensen figure, a Disney tee with a, a Mad Libs for Destiny? Okay. Lawbreaker snapback, uh, talking about the moon, uh, because that's the plot of Lawbreakers that the moon's gone missing, I think, or in the gravitational pulls all over the shop. Uh, Bioshock Big Daddy patch, and asking questions about Bioshock, uh, make a coin pen, doesn't say anything that is associated with that because I, the Loot Crate does a digital kind of like improvement along with it, but this does not. Anyway, Legendary Drop, uh, full PC that we did not receive and will not have. And of course, at the very end, we got some looters sitting looking pretty. So guys, how's it going? Nice to see you. Camera just ran out on the other side there, so um, yeah. We have not solved our technical issues that we cause every single time we're doing a video here on Loot Crate. So um, in that case, I will bid you adieu, and we're away on until the next crit. So I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.